by their students. I had a question about what's the difference between brim and rim. Okay, so both of these are countable nouns. I think to brim as well could be a verb. Let's see, let's start with hats. Okay, normally with the um, word uh, a hat, I would talk about the brim of a hat. It's the flat bit that goes around the edge. But I think a hat also has a rim. The rim is the very outside part of it. Yeah, whereas the brim is the whole thing. Or maybe where your head fits, this circle on the inside, might also be the rim as well. Okay, so notice a rim is a line, whereas normally a brim is a flat surface. Okay, and that's one of the things to think about. Now, we normally use brim when we're talking about three dimensions to fill things to the brim. So I get this feeling normally a rim is this curved up bit at the edge, whereas the rim itself is just this line around the edge. So I filled the glass to the brim. I guess you could fill it to the rim as well. Yeah. So I think if it's filled, if it's, if, if it's filled to the brim, it's on this, this area near the top. If it's filled to the rim, you touch it and uh, the liquid is going to overflow. So I think normally use the word brim when you're filling, um, when you're filling something. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, a cup. Let's see. A cup can have a rim. The, the rim of the cup was chipped. Yeah, but I filled my cup to the brim. Uh, my cup was brimming with coffee. Glasses. Okay. Rims. You can have um, glasses without rims. The rims are the edge, the frame of the glasses. Or you could have half rim glasses as well. Let's see, to rim as a verb as well, to place something on the edge. So the um, cocktail glass was rimmed with sugar. Yeah, it, the sugar went round the very top line. Um, the cocktail glass was brimming with cocktail, was full of cocktail, both very different. Um, I think if you think about tires and wheels, um, you have rims. The rim for a car wheel is this metal part that you put the rubber wheel round, and that is a rim. Yeah, that I had a flat tire and I had to drive on the rims. The same with a bicycle wheel, this metal bit that goes round the edge. I would not use um, a brim for that. Okay, let's see. Um, a uh, the rim of a canyon. So here, a canyon is like a valley or a, a big crack in the earth, and the rim is the edge. Yeah, is the edge, the line at the edge. Um, I think the canyon maybe it could be filled to the brim with water because it's been raining. Yeah, but the rim, don't fall over the rim of the canyon. Um, let's see. So we use rim to talk about the edge of something. Um, the spacecraft has reached the rim of the universe. Yeah, the absolute edge of it. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. His, uh, his eyes were rimmed in red. There was red all around the outside of his eyes. His eyes were brimming with tears, were full of tears. Okay, so the brim is the outer edge, typically something circular. Yeah, the lip, if you like. Yeah, a wheel rim. 
the rims of spectacles, gold rimmed spectacles, um, the edge of something, the uh, rim of the uh, uh, galaxy, yeah? And also, if you have, for example, if you have a bath and you're really, really dirty, you let the water out and there's a rim of dirt round the, in, round the inside. It's like a line, yeah? But not a brim of dirt, a rim of dirt. Um, so it's like a stain going round the, the edge of something. Okay, so, well, that gives you an idea of the difference. I think, for me generally, the brim, it comes up and it holds things. If you look at most hats, that the brim comes up. Yeah, and if it rains, you could probably keep water in it. Whereas a rim is just this outer edge, yeah? It doesn't matter what happens uh, uh, further inside. <coughs> Now, let's look at formality. I would give both of these words five in formality. Use both of them absolutely anywhere. And let's see. Um, as to origin, uh, brim comes from brima in Proto-Germanic, the sea, yeah? Um, bremana, to roar, the roaring of the sea, the surf. Whereas um, rim comes from rima, or Remo in Proto-Germanic, the edge or the border. Um, okay, so, well, yeah, if you think about the uh, Brima, the sea, the sea fills this container, whereas the rim just talks about the um, edge of something, yeah? So something fills to the brim, and then it overflows the rim. So the Pacific Rim, yeah, the edge of the Pacific uh, Ocean, not the Pacific brim. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Rim or brim?